It's the first time that I've really been turned on to a such digital uh, medium. Uh, usually I, I kind of shy away from that kind of stuff, but I really liked how he uh, layered uh, the certain pieces. All right, so year of work culminating in an, a visual experience with a, a series of millions of images uh, creating a cornucopia of odyssey, of excellence. Awesome. A. This dosa and, um, well, looking at Bean's work, it's kind of like, I mean, encyclopedia is like, I guess it's cleverly titled just because like an encyclopedia, you see a constant array of images and, you know, all these images, you, you kind of get bits and pieces and everybody knows these images from somewhere or some form or like some way. And we're such a visual society that we know where it comes from, but, you know, and we're bombarded with all this information and we always try to soak it all in. We try to get as much as we can from all these little tiny images. And in the day of like, I guess we live in like a, an age of information where it's um, information is key, but how much, you know, how much more can we put in our heads? Like, you know. I th uh, all the non sequitur imagery uh, seems quite uh, stark in the context of um, today's uh, youth movement within an artistic context. Because you could look at it two or three times and see something new each time. And I liked that. Sort of like a sensory overload. Yeah, which is understandable. Uh, because I think, like, the times we live in right now, everything is so fast and so immediate. And with it being called like the encyclopedia, like nobody like really takes the time to thumb through books anymore. We can just pretty much click and have our images pop before us. Sort of like internet instant gratification of images, you know what I mean?